this is Suzanne with Sweet Tea and Whimsy. Join me today as I share with you a thrift haul and an antique haul that I have collected on this week's trip out of town. I've been busy working this week and in my spare time, I've tried to squeeze in a little bit of thrifting. So grab, grab. a glass of sweet tea, sit down, sit back, and watch as I share with you my treasures from this week's thrift haul and antique shopping. Let's just jump right in. First, I found this beautiful vase. It is unmarked and it is off white in color and it does have a few chips here and there, but it was only 50 cents. So I went ahead and picked it up because I love the off-white color. I love the crazing, and I love the height of this old vase. So for 50 cents, I knew I couldn't go wrong, and I will get a lot of use out of this. Next, I picked up this adorable small flower vase, marked 50 cents. Look at this. Look at the beautiful flowers. It looks like some blue forget-me-nots, some pink roses, and some yellow flowers. It's got a little rim of gold at the bottom, a small opening. I love this. And I loved it when I saw it. And then I loved it even more when I picked it up and looked on the bottom and I saw that it says Old South. So, hey, a Southern girl's got to have a piece of Old South uh, pottery. This is absolutely beautiful. It's got a lot of crazing under the glaze. It is just perfect. 50 cents, guys. Old South. Score. Love it. That's one of my favorite finds this week. Next, I found this adorable little coffee mug. I want to believe that these are also forget-me-nots. It's a small mug and on the bottom it says Ann's Ceramics 1983. So I love this. It needs to be cleaned up but I think this will be gorgeous on a tea setting. Okay, next I found just an odd small bowl. It's not marked, although I believe it's ironstone. It has a really pretty design on the inside. It's dirty, it needs to be cleaned up. But I believe this was 25 cents. I found this small, it's very heavy, this bowl. It was 25 cents. And on the bottom, it is marked HLC. And it also says USA. So this is the marking on the bottom. And I love the size of this. I also got, and I know this is nothing old, but it was um, a quarter and it's just this small mainstays bowl. And I like the size of that. And I like to have small bowls that I can stack together. So these, as well as this one, They'll all be really pretty stacked together. I found for 25 cents this small little piece of pottery, ceramics. Um, on the bottom, it says Sterling Vitrified China, East Liverpool, Ohio, USA. And then it has the letter C and I think a number two. So I thought this was a really pretty piece of ceramics. And again, it's very heavy. So I love that. I love the trim around the top. To add to my um, plate collection, I found this very small um, plate. And it is Chicago, Illinois. And it was 25 cents. On the back, it says made in Japan. And I will just add this to my state plate collection. I found these adorable little wicker baskets for 50 cents. There's three of them. 
I love the size of these. And I thought these would be so adorable. For example, to set this piece of ceramic pottery on, I love these. So to me, ah, this was this was a great score for me. I love these. These make me happy. Okay, what else did we find? I found another random item, which are just these three small um, Oh my goodness, I just went blank. <laughs> Why does it happen when I turn the camera on? Why do I go blank? Words don't come to me when I turn the camera on. Only crazy words. <sighs> terracotta, that's it. Thank you, terracotta. I found these little terracotta pots, the white one. These were 25 cents each. The natural terracotta and the little blue and white polka dotted. So I'll add these to my little collection of small terracotta pots, and I, I thought these were cute. I found this beautiful platter that looks very old, and it is marked on the back. I really can't read this, guys. Hudson. Um, I think it says Homer Laughlin, but it was 75 cents. I love the shape of it, and it has a design around it, and it's very pretty, and so I picked it up for 75 cents. I'm always picking up silver and silver-plated trays, so I found two more to add to my collection. This is the size uh, that I found the other day. This was $2, and it's marked Oneida. So I have a couple that are this size. I'm not so sure I have one this size. This one was $1. So these are marked Oneida. And I will probably leave them tarnished and unpolished um, until I get ready to use them. And then I may polish them up. But when I have them on display or if I'm using them to put pretties on, I usually just leave them tarnished up. So here's what the border the design around the edges look like. Very pretty, so a total of $3 for these. I found me some more silver napkin rings. These were marked $2, but this, uh, they caught this green tag. I'm not sure why, uh, because it's not marked green, but they charged me $1 because today was half price on green tags. Um, and again, you know I love anything that's engraved, and these are engraved. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they are engraved with the letter A on each one of them. So, you know, this is a treasure to me. I love this. Gorgeous. I found five um, in this Ziploc bag five dinner card holders and I'll show you what they look like. They're very heavy. They are these little pairs. So they'll sit at each table setting like this. And then I wish I had something that I could um, slide in here. Let's see, here's something. So for each place setting, you can have the little card holder and this is too big for this but this is how it works these adorable little pairs hold the the name cards at the place settings for you so these are very heavy there are five of them and i paid three dollars for all five i love these look at these so this was another great score for me. Ah, I love these. So, so far my favorite are these little card holders, my adorable small baskets, and oh yeah, my Old South vase. So, moving right along, I've got some more treasures, guys. Oh yeah, and these. I love the monogram napkin rings. Okay. 
gorgeous. Next, you know, you know I collect milk glass. And I keep telling you I'm going to share my milk glass collection with you. I'm going to do that real soon. I have a wonderful collection of milk glass I've been collecting for a long time. Uh, and my collection is not as big as many collections that I've seen. However, I love my milk glass collection because it's special to me. Most of them I can remember where I was when I purchased them. They have meaning to me. And on this week's trip, I found some more. There's this wonderful little um, restaurant that's owned by some sisters. And it's been in business here in this small town for 30 years. And the mother works with them. The daughters, I think maybe there's a brother that works with them. But they are in this historical building which used to be a bank and prior to that it was a home and so they have refurbished it back to the look of an old historical home and they have wonderful southern cooking and she serves her meals on the most beautiful eclectic dinnerware she has mixed matched china dishes beautiful glassware, old silverware, um, beautiful little tea pitchers, and the experience of eating there is absolutely wonderful. So, another thing that I love about going to her restaurant is she has a beautiful gift shop, and throughout her gift shop and also throughout the restaurant, she sells pieces that are new, and also pieces that are from her personal collection. And a couple of things that she has collected for many, many years um, is a milk glass collection and an aluminum collection. So for the past several years, she has been trying to simplify and pare down some of the items in her collection and she will put them on display in her restaurant to sell. So, every time I go, I try to pick up a piece of milk glass, and here's what I got this time. Ready? Ah! These two beautiful vases. Look at these. I am in love. I cannot wait to fill these with some beautiful flowers and have them on display. I have seen a piece like this before, and when I went away and left, I regretted not purchasing it, and I've never seen another piece like this before. I know that many of you have this same piece in your collection, um, but I've never, I don't typically run across and see this. So, although she had lots of things in her collection that I would have loved to have, I wanted these because I've seen it before, yet I've not run across it again. So they are two identical pieces. There's a little differences in them. Like I think the ruffle on this one is folded over more than the ruffle on the small one. But I love these. I can't wait to get them on display. I love that I know the story behind them. They came from a home that loved them and they're going to a home that loves them. Uh, this one was marked $7.99 and this one was marked $10. And guys, this is a great treasure to me. So, I also looked at her aluminum uh, collection and I made a couple of purchases. This is the first one. It is a creamer and sugar set. And it comes in this adorable little tray. Now I'm gonna take it off so that you can see. This has a beautiful design on it. It looks like this. And on the bottom, it says made in Italy. And it says made in Italy on both of the serving pieces. And I absolutely love this. She charged me next to nothing for this um, just because I bought several things from her and she knows my love of old 
antique and vintage items. So I absolutely love this creamer and sugar set. Next, I purchased, oh, this is adorable. Guys, look at this. This precious cup and saucer set made in aluminum. Is this not precious? Look at this. It's a tiny little thing. It's got the matching saucer. And on the bottom of this, it says made in Italy for creative playthings. So you can look at this and tell that it's very old. The cup is stamped and the saucer is stamped on both of them. This is adorable. Look at this. Score. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let me set that aside and show you what else I've got. Now my brother has a couple of old aluminum trays in his home on display that belonged to my mother. My mother had several old aluminum trays and I, I remember her having them forever. As long as I can remember, she had those aluminum trays and um, they were shaped like this. They had the ruffle on the side and they had an engraving of a picture. Now the engraving on this one, this one is so old, it's almost worn out, but it is a flower. I'm not even sure what kind of flower it is, but it is a flower. And I was looking to see if there's any markings on the back of this one. I didn't think that there was, and I still don't see a marking, but I love this. I will be using this a lot. This was marked $10, but again, she gave me a very good deal on each thing that I purchased because I did purchase several things from her. Uh, this is the larger tray. This one's huge. It was marked $15, but again, she gave me a good deal. Oh, I love this. Look at this. It has a sailboat, guys. Look at that. Are you not in love with this? I love it. I love the nautical picture on this. The clouds and the ocean and the sailboat. This is wonderful. It makes me happy. Again, on the back of this tray, I do not see any markings unless it's somewhere that I'm overlooking it. But again, it has the beautiful ruffled edges. This is a very large tray. Oh, and I love it. The next thing that I purchased from her are just these cute little small uh, plates. And again, it's marked Made in Italy for Creative Playthings. And there are four of these small little plates. So I believe that they went with this. And that perhaps it was a part of a kid's, a child's play set. So, you know I love this, guys. This is adorable. Made in Italy for creative play things. Isn't that cute? This is one of my favorites. Okay, next I want to show you. I went into a small boutique so, inside the small boutique, I found a couple of things. Now, this is a and, new item. Uh, now, this is a new item, but I wanted to share it with you. It was in the boutique, and I absolutely love this. You can't tell anyone that I purchased this because I think that this may be um, a Christmas gift for someone in my family. Look at this. So it's a map, it is on bamboo wood. It's a map of Alabama and it shows um, all the things that are significant to the state of Alabama. 
all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And I love it. Don't you love this? So again, this was a new item, but when I saw it, I knew that I had to get it. If I don't decide to keep it myself, which is gonna be very, very hard, I will be giving it as a Christmas gift to someone special in my family. So while I was there in this boutique and I picked this up, I found a treasure. Now when I saw this, I picked it up and I went to the lady at the counter and I said, this isn't new, is this homemade? Is this handmade? Does someone make this? This looks vintage to me. And so she started telling me the story. First of all, look at this, guys. It's a pin cushion on top of this precious little um, deer. Look at this. So she started telling me, uh, and this was the owner of the boutique, about her friend whose mother makes these. And as we kept talking, she named the lady, and the lady is another lady. She's a retiree from the company that I work for, and she's been retired for several years now, and she's very, very talented. She quilts, she sews, she does almost anything, and she makes these adorable pin cushions. So, at the same boutique where I picked this up, which to me is a treasure, this is one of my favorite things that I picked up this week, I also found these uh, crocheted, handmade uh, pot holders and dishcloths. And they're so adorable. They're wrapped in twine. It says handmade crochet dish cloth, washable, 100% cotton. And it says totally handmade. And it's got a little picture of a frog. I just thought it was adorable. So I crochet, I'm not nearly as good as this guys, but I like to play. And I pick these up and when I get to the counter, I realize uh, after the lady tells me so, that the same lady who uh, made these handmade also made the pin cushion. So now I have a treasure of all of these items from the same lady uh, when I'm on a trip away from home, in a boutique, several hours away from home, and I realized that this is someone I used to work with in the same company. So this is one of my favorite treasures of the week. So, immediately when I saw this, I thought, I want to make one of these for my mother and for my mother-in-law. So, I immediately started looking at thrift stores for perhaps something that I can play around with until I can really get good. Uh, because I know this looks easy, but I'm sure it's not as, as easy as it looks. So... I found me something that I want to try, and it's this little guy right here. He's dirty, he needs to be cleaned up. I paid $1 for him, and I'm not sure what he was initially holding. I'm not sure what was here on his little tray, but I want to turn this into the pin cushion. So again, if you look at hers, which she had lots of different little um, vintage animals that she had created into pin cushions. I think I'm gonna start with him because I think it will be adorable with him holding a pin cushion. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my starter um, pin cushion pin cushion product. Let, uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my idea for a starter pin cushion project. Um, I think he'll be cute, but I would love to hear what you think. So let me know what you think about it in boutique. the comments. In another boutique, um, I started a new collection. Enamelware is really big around here 
and women collect enamelware of all shapes, all sorts, all sizes, casserole dishes, jelly roll pans, plates, coffee mugs, cake plates, um, anything you can think of. And they have these wonderful colors. They have, of course, the red and white. They have black and white enamelware. It's called splatterware. They have the blue and white. They even have yellow and white and the newer colors of gray and white and turquoise and white. So I wanted to pick up a piece to uh, maybe start a collection of splatterware, like I need another collection. And shh, do not tell my husband, please don't tell my husband. Because he will say, do you really need another collection? Why, yes, honey, I do need another collection. So here's what I started with, this adorable little picture. I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to put this on our um, dining room table so that during meals, I can fill this up with sweet tea and it will be real easy to pick up and pass around and pour tea from. Oh, isn't she adorable? Look at this thing. The other thing that I bought to go along with my starter collection is this cute little pot. I'm not sure of the correct name for this, but I'm thinking that I will use it for if I have a dip that I'm serving with crackers or chips or uh, nachos that I can put the dip in here. I would really love to use it in the winter when I'm serving hot soups and chilies. I can use this to scoop and serve the chili from the pot with. So I really wanted this piece as a starter piece because to me it's so different, it's unique, and it will get a lot of use in my kitchen. So I was excited to have these two pieces of splatterware to start my collection. And I probably will mix this with some of the uh, turquoisey blue color because I think that it would go really well with this, with this gray and white. It's beautiful, isn't it? At the same boutique, I purchased um, a set of dishcloths and it's called Country Cottons and it's made in North Carolina. And I like this because they have the Bible scriptural John 3.16 on here. And the ladies there at the boutique said these are the most wonderful dishcloths that you can purchase and that they clean and wipe down enamelware so beautifully. So I picked up two of these dishcloths. What else do I have? Well, guys, you know I love some jewelry. Yes, I love jewelry. I love old jewelry. I love new jewelry. I love antique jewelry. And I went into another little boutique. And inside this boutique, again, this lady had a lot of new trendy items. But she actually started her shop with her own personal collection of things that she was selling. So, she had a lot of items marked down, and a lot of the uh, things that she had marked down was jewelry. So, I purchased these two very pretty pieces of jewelry. So, I like these. I went ahead and put these two on so that you could see them. Her necklaces were marked down to $1.95. So, I'll show you what I got. Here's a very pretty necklace that I purchased. A very beautiful bracelet. This is a somewhat unusual necklace, but I purchased it. It's real, it makes a bold statement, but I really loved these big chunky gold charms. Here's one heart and then another and then a third one. So I thought that was very pretty. Even if I were to take this 
charm, these charms off. I really did like them. So sometimes I like to wear real bold necklaces that make a statement and I feel like that will be one of them. I purchased this necklace here that is actually a Coldwater Creek necklace. So again, this was $1.95. And I think if you look this up online, it's 40 some odd dollars. So that was very pretty. I purchased another um, couple of necklaces and also a couple of pair of earrings. But I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you a couple of the <clears throat> brooches, the brooches that I purchased. I love collecting vintage and antique uh, brooches. <clears throat> and I'll show you that collection one day. So here's the first one. Very pretty, this. Very pretty. Look at this little bouquet of flowers. Look at this pretty one. Oh, it's so cute. I purchased this little hat pin or scarf pin. I thought it was very pretty. And I also purchased this rose. And the main reason I purchased the rose was the store that I purchased this from was called the Rusty Rose. And I thought that this could be a reminder for me of when and where I purchased these so, if you will, leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite treasure from this week's haul was. And also, share with me what you have found this week on your thrifting trips or your antique store shopping trips or yard sales that you may have been to. Share with me what you have found and let me know what your favorite uh, item from today's video is and and also what you like to collect. I'd love to hear from you what your collections are, uh, what your weakness is. You can say I have a lot of weaknesses uh, because I have a lot of different collections, uh, but it's fun. It makes me happy and I love the things that I purchase and I use the things that I purchase. So, from Sweet Tea and Whimsy, till next time, I hope you have a wonderful week and a great evening. Mwah.